ready to set the cruise. And boom, very, very consistent. Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're at a local shop here in a 2005 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins Diesel. Very interesting customer complaint on this one. Said whenever the guy's driving down the road, tries to set the cruise control, the engine like shuts off. Boom. Pull over, restart it, and they say it's pretty consistent. It happens pretty consistently. Also, I don't know if this is related, but sometimes the wipers have a ghost. Sometimes they come on, sometimes they go super fast or slow. Um, I don't know if the problems are related, but let's uh, attack this cruise control problem first. We have some live data pulled up. Whenever I hit the set button, you see that data pit changes. And the codes in the engine are 2509 ECM PCM power supply intermittent and ECM fueling calibration error. So those two and in the troubleshooter I actually found an interesting tip in here from Snap-on. This will set when the fused battery to the computer is lost. After verifying the fuse bat and grounds are good at the ECM and the battery's charging system are good, disconnect the fan clutch six-way connector and see if the problem still occurs. If not, replace the Vistronic fan clutch assembly. What may be happening is the 12 volts supply is shorting to the 5 volt sensor circuit. Very interesting. So, we have to make this thing act up, take it on a test drive, and then first start with the data. We might have to hook up a scope to this one, see what's dropping out. So this is the data we're looking at. ECM battery gives you that data PID, as well as the cruise control, the temperatures, and the RPMs, and also vehicle speed. All right, here we go. The cruise is ready to be enabled. Let's try it. Set. You just can't do it. Below 30 miles an hour. Whoa, saw that. And we just got a. <laughs> that was cool. Let's pull over. Indeed. So I want to. Hear the codes out and look, all the data pits are weird. So let's exit out of here. Codes. Clear codes. Yes. DTC is erased. No codes present. So let's try that again. Okay, our data pits are back. ECM battery voltage is good. Set the cruise and boom, very, very consistent. Like nothing happened. Every time, very consistent. I like it. <laughs> so let's pull over here. 
do a little research on what's going on. Check engine light came on. We have to see what codes we set. seems to run fine even without being you know rebooted it just stumbled and came right back all right codes codes only 2509 fuel rail pressure too high so it said two codes but what the heck that's different so what is dropping out we need to use the scope and and see what's going on with how how does the cruise control have anything to do with anything? <laughs> we need some wiring diagrams. All right, so the game plan is look up a diagram for the network on this truck. Just by the symptoms, hit that cruise control button. The engine, you know, almost stalls, surges. The instrument cluster, everything goes to zero. Once in a while, they said the wipers come on and off. It is just, it's a red flag, it's screaming. The network is dropping out, at least temporarily. So I have some diagrams pulled up. First, let's see how the cruise control is wired up. And here's our speed switches on the steering wheel, right and left. There's a clock spring and these things go to the PCM directly okay signal and return and then the uh, it's an electronic throttle body down here brake switch okay nothing too fancy for the wipers how are the wipers controlled here's the wiper switch it actually goes to the cluster and then the cluster on the PCI bus tells the front control module what what to do and the relays are in here and then finally you go down to your wiper motor and washer pump so again PCI bus the wipers are controlled through the cluster on this PCI bus let's look at the layout the topography of the entire network so this is a Chrysler system so we have our DLC engine control module the scanner just talks to the ECM and that's like the gateway it's from the ECM then we have PCI bus going to wherever everywhere right the radio the cluster AC heater controls transfer case module, ABS module. So I want to tap into this PCI bus and it does not go to the DLC. So we need to find an easy to get to module to you know, back probe. And I found that, hey, right here, ABS. We got the white and violet wire. So we'll just do one channel in there and reproduce the fall and see what happens to our PCI bus. Okay. So let's fire up the scope and reproduce the problem. Okay, so I did another full code scan just so you guys can see. We have the 2509 P0088602H1538 only in the engine computer. So Let's again reboot, clear all the codes, and what do we have on our PCI bus? This 0 to 8 volt packets. So there we, there we have it, we have packets. 
I want to see what happens when this thing acts up. We can even increase our sample rate. Okay, so everything's cleared. Okay. So no codes right now. Back to our data. We just want RPM to APS coolant intake air fuel pressure. Since I was fussing about that, we want battery. Where is it? ECM battery voltage and set switch for cruise control vehicle speed. Okay. All right, it's fired up. Looks like everything's happy. There's our PCI bus. Let's go. All right, here we go. Set. Boom. What do we see? So let's pull over and see if we set some codes. So that right here was when the engine shut off. As you can see, there's still packets on there. There's just less of them. Right here. And our data pids always get messed up. I did not select these data pids, so. Twenty five oh nine zero zero eight eight. So indeed, it's setting the twenty five oh nine again. I think we have to go to this code and see what's happening <laughs> on that wire. Is the computer really losing power? It says it is, and it's coming right back to life. And why would it happen when you set the cruise control? That is the most bizarre thing. Because the electronic throttle, that's still, you know, active when you're driving around normally. What does that have to do with this cruise switch? All right, we got two more channels hooked up. So the blue is still on the PCI bus. Channel two, I hooked up to one of the main power feeds at the engine computer. So looking at this P2509 trouble code, apologize about the glare. That's as bright as my screen gets, but there's three fused battery power feeds to this engine control module. Pins 20, 30, and 40 coming from the battery positive. And that's it. And then we have the ground. So we could put another channel on the ground. There are pins 21, 49, and 50. And they're all black wires. That's a good thing to check. Absolutely. And the Channel 3 is on a 5 volt reference wire. And where did I have that guy? Engine controls, powertrain. So, light, light green wire at the IAT sensor. And that's the one that goes to the next page to our fan control, the one that Snap on said could potentially, you know, the the 12 volts could feed into the 5 volt through this little radiator fan drive. I didn't even find it yet, but we're doing preliminary measurements. Why is this computer dropping off the face of the earth and then comes back perfectly like nothing ever happened? So let's get one more channel on that ground wire and um, take it for another spin. All right, here we go. PCI bus, fused battery power to the computer, 5 volt reference and a ground at the computer. So, key on. All right, let's fire it up.
nothing too crazy. Perfect, so that's awesome data stream. Let's, uh, let's get it, this thing to act up again. And uh, I'll just clear the codes one more time for consistency. Okay, everything's reset. There's our data. Set you guys up on the tripod here. All right, all right, let's roll. So I did the experiment three times and we don't see anything really wrong. It's crazy. The power feed definitely doesn't drop out. The ground is, you know, around zero volts. The five volt reference stays at exactly five volts. And the PCI bus, yeah, we have less communication, but it doesn't get pulled down or, you know, anything crazy. And it's very repeatable. There's two more times. You can see that that's when the engine basically loses RPMs and then comes back to life. Our voltage doesn't drop below 13 volts. So this is pretty crazy and how reproducible it is. That set switch on the cruise control, the computer just freaks out. It doesn't know what to do even though on live data, if you're you know just sitting there with the with the idling, you can push that switch, it'll say, hey, you're pushing the switch, and everything's good. <laughs> but why can it not engage the cruise control? That's my question. It just blows my mind. Does it need an engine computer? Twenty five oh nine again in the P zero zero eight eight. Can we look up P zero zero eight eight? not really that helpful. Otherwise the truck seems to run perfect. We didn't lose anything here so it's not like the fans pulling down the 5 volt reference or something is just you push that button and this event happens. So, might be worth looking on Google, see if anyone else had this exact same symptom. But right now I don't see any other variables other than the engine computer itself. For some reason when you engage that cruise control, blah, you know, it, <laughs> the engine almost shuts off. Could it, could it have something to do with the electronic throttle control? Mm, maybe, but unlikely because otherwise the problem would appear when you're not in, doing, in you know, cruise control. So, very strange and bizarre problem. Well, we even checked the signal, the signal ground and the actual button voltage at the computer. It's perfect. It matches scan data. So, I think we're calling an engine computer for malfunctioning cruise control. Pretty crazy. Never seen anything like this. I thought we were gonna find something, but 
I'm gonna tell this to the shop and man, I hate calling engine computers. <laughs> if it was Staten Island, it would probably be an engine computer, but this thing, mm. But if you think of any other variables that I might have overlooked, powers, grounds, check out, network, doesn't get pulled out, you know, pulled down or anything. And I, I think it's such a short problem, the other modules don't say lost communication with PCM, and PCM's just like, I'm out, like, hey, I'm back. <laughs> so, weird and wonderful stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, we'll see you next time, bye-bye. So the codes that it set this time, P2509, P1602, calibration error, and fuel rail pressure too high. Um, man, that is crazy stuff. Last thing we can do is check all the powers and all the grounds with the scope. Three, three grounds, three powers, and call this engine computer. That's it. We have to be 100% on this one.